Kevin McCarthy. So, Congressman, does that mean or not mean Social Security will be part of this? Look, we'll touch all of them. What you'll find is, and what you'll find in a budget, we're going to touch the drivers because every year you ignore any of the entitlements, you add $11 trillion to the unfunded. What you'll find in the budget, though, it lays out a framework. The committees will do the actual work where you see the new one, protecting Social Security for those who have it now, and reforming it for the future so it's make sure it's there for somebody else. All right, so when you say, sir, protecting the drivers and dealing with the drivers, Social Security is a driver, so is it fair to say it will be among those uh, it programs? It will be dealt with, at? yes. Okay. We're much, different, we're much different than the president. Even though he had the debt commission that said you should tackle Medicare, Medicaid and Social Security, he's ignored all of them. And that just added another $11 trillion to the unfunded. So all, we will tackle all of those all of three, them. sir, are in there as far when we get Congressman Ryan's report. Yes. We, we plan for a future that we could actually balance the budget and pay off the debt. The problem is very large. As you know, we're borrowing $1.6 trillion every year to get through this. And so we're going to change the course and actually grow jobs, but actually reform and actually have a future where jobs can be produced. Is it fair to say, Congressman, the pressure is certainly on you guys, especially from a lot of those protesting Tea Partiers outside the Capitol today, to come up with, with very big numbers, cuts uh, in the hundreds of billions of dollars, uh, certainly even for the next fiscal year. How likely is that? What are you looking at? I think that's very likely inside the budget once they see it. The, most di the difficulty that we have here is when the Democrats were in the majority, they never produced a budget. And then when we won the majority in the House, the Democrats only funded government to March 4th. So what we are in is what is called a continuing resolution. Right. So you can only go after really discretionary spending. So we feel the frustration that everybody's at. We are frustrated. So we have to get through the current budget where the president says he just wants to freeze it, even though he increased discretionary spending by 83 percent, and we're arguing over those cuts. But once we lay out the budget, that is really where the future goes. That's where a two futures that America has. Do we have one of prosperity, of job growth, of containing and shrinking the size of government? There will be trillions of dollars cut when it comes to our budget. Trillions of dollars over many years, but for the next yes. year, fiscal year 2012, are you saying cuts in excess of $100 billion? Is that a given? Oh, that's a given, yes. Okay. If we were able to grab the whole budget, I mean, the difficulty of what we're at right now the budget year for government ends September 30th, so you only have a few months to actually be able to grab savings. I understand the frustration of people are. Try being in our shoes. We have campaigned, fought for this. We do it every day. We beat the president from the aspect that he said he wants to freeze spending. We've gotten more cuts in the last two weeks than they've cut since but World War II. But you do seem to be saying, Congressman, I understand, sir, but you do seem to be saying then that this fixation on, on this continued resolution or, uh, for, for what is a budget that actually gates back to last year that was never called a budget misses the greater point, that you're focused on 2012, right? Look, we're focused about the future. Our budget will lay out a future that uh, America can be more prosperous, that the best days are in front of us. And that's really what you see with uh, Paul Ryan's budget. And, right. uh, but it's going to have sacrifices. Okay. We look forward to seeing you, Congressman. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for having me.